morning, Vlad. Hi, Matt. How are you doing? Welcome to Raw. Thank you for the invitation. I'm happy to be here. So what are you going to do today? We've got lots to show you today, my friend. But first, coffee? Of course. Espresso? Double. Cheers. I love coffee. And I tried a lot of Parisians, but I never had the opportunity to, to visit a real coffee factory. Please, tell me about your raw story. Well, Raw is the, uh, was the very first specialty coffee roastery in the Middle East. Middle East. So, yeah. it's not so even in a very, it, with, this is our 15th year. That's quite going. a lot. It's yeah. Huge yeah. experience. Yeah. Yeah. So um, the, the, the reason that I got into coffee was the fact that I moved to, the, to Dubai with my family. Mm -hmm. And to my horror, there was no good coffee. Mm -hmm. So luckily I met Kim, who had just started Raw and uh, we worked out it would be a good idea to, to collaborate together and, um, and, and take it even further. What about the, the name itself? What's the idea about yeah. it? So Kim, when she started the company, she wanted to uh, have a name that was short and concise. She wanted to have a name that uh, reflected what the product was about. So with raw, there's no additives, there's no syrups, there's no anything. It's so just like the raw product. Pure. And she was, you know, first starting out into a new company, so she was a little bit raw herself. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, uh, connections. Yeah, uh, I really like the idea of creation, the roastery, creation, uh, the cafe. Uh, storage uh, training ground under the same roof so this is amazing and I just want to know how did you come up with this idea okay it's really really important that if you're trying to serve uh, coffee uh, in a commercial way like Leto does to customers that it's way more than just the coffee itself right so the coffee is very important but everything else around that is equally important. So the water that you use, the equipment that you use, when that equipment has been serviced, the barista's understanding, their training, that's very important. All these factors all play a part in delivering a really good cup of coffee. And the people who produce the coffee back in their regions. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. So, you know, they say that there's nearly a thousand people have touched the coffee before you drink it. Thousand. thousand. Yeah, the, the people who's growing, the farmers, the drivers, the the shipment when it's coming, the unpacking, and then barista, yeah. and then waiter who delivers. So yes, definitely it's a lot, a lot of hands. And um, all this journey of the coffee, it's uh, also support for the people who's touching. Yeah, the, the and, and that's that's what we do at Raw, is that we are very much, you know, so the coffee, the taste and the flavor of the coffees are very, very important, right? We want to get the best to the consumer. But it's also looking after all the people in the chain. Because if we don't, there won't be any more coffee. Now we're in the heart of the roastery and we're gonna learn all procedures. And Kim will Hi. help us. Hello. Yeah, welcome. Thank you. Let me show you around. Sure. Uh, what is here? When we bring the green bean from the chiller, we mm -hmm. bring it out here and this is the scale where we weigh the coffee. So what we do is we take the green bean. This is the seed from the inside of the coffee cherry. It's very hard, it's got no smell. Definitely. And that's what we roast. So this is a big weighing scale. We weigh 15 kilos, 30 kilos, and then when we're ready, it's sucked up through into the roasting machine. We can roast about uh, a ton a day on these small roasters, because they're, they're designed to keep working, yep. And then we have the larger 30 kilo roaster, and the small roaster we use for your single origins, that we, when you're hand brewing the coffees in the time. Even for creating the blends, yeah? You're trying to create yeah, the blends it, small it, What we do is we roast each coffee with its own recipe, and then we blend them together after they've been roasted. Like a recipe that you, when you make your beautiful cakes. Oh. <laughs> this is a noisy machine and this is the roasting machine, eh? What's yeah. the process right now? So we want to always give you fresh coffee. So we roast what you need for a, for a week and then it's always delivered to you so it's fresh. At the moment, the coffee is cooling. Uh -huh. And then we um, take it out, we rest it in the bins like here. So and this it was, is already this roasted, is roasted it, yeah. ready to pack. Yeah. yeah, and then it's ready to pack. And we, we usually leave it for 24 hours to degas, 
and then we bring it over here where it, it goes into the Lito packaging. What's the maximum amount of the coffee you ro roasted per day? Do you have some uh, number? About 15, 1,500 kilos uh, we be roasting. In a day? In a day, yeah. And getting the bags ready and everything. It's good, we <laughs> like being busy. And this is the small roaster that we're going to sit down and we can do some roasting now with the Colombian coffee for you. Colombian planatus, yeah? Yes, so correct. One, pa one part of the letter blend. Correct. One, and also the coffee three. you use for your brewing and for the oh, sachets. Single, uh, yeah. single origin. Okay. Yeah. That's exciting. I want to try already. Yeah, um, you can roast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this and the beans are going to drop down and you'll see them enter in here. Mm -hmm. So I'll put my hand here and I'm going to go like this. What is going on right now? It's the roasting procedure. Yeah. Yes, so we're roasting now. We're roasting it on the small roaster. We're roasting four kilos of coffee. It comes in at the hopper at the top. You can see it going around. It's powered by gas. Mm -hmm. And then it's a drum that's rotating, which is why you see the beans turning here. Br spinning like in a washing machine, but yeah. ro roastery machine. Well, it's a little bit like a coffee bean has got a lot of oil in it that's where the flavor comes from and if it's sitting on a pan it will get burnt okay so we're trying to cook it without burning the outside we're looking at the flame for the heat and then we're looking at the speed of the drum and then this is the exhaust it's a little bit like a recipe you follow for a cake What's the proper temperature for roasting? When we put the coffee in, we drop the coffee at 190 degrees. 190? Yeah. So it's like uh, extra hot cappuccino in there. Yeah, it's very hot. It should and take about 11 minutes. Uh, what's, what's your monitoring here in the so screen? So this is an application that we use so that we can consistently deliver you the same coffee. So each week it will be the same. Okay, equal procedure all the time. Same procedure yes. all the time. Yes. Okay. Consistency is something that's very important and it takes dedication. Starting to change colour from green and then went yellow and now it's turning a lighter brown. So it's going through all these different chemical processes. Procedures. And then what I'll do is I'll give you this so that you can listen to it. When the, temp the coffee gets to around 195 degrees, you can hear it like popcorn, it cracks. Oh. Yeah, and you'll hear it, and that's and that's when we need to make some changes to the the heat and the airflow and everything. So I'll give this to you now. Get okay. comfy. Okay, let me try. I feel like I'm inside of microwave. <laughs> I got a bit popcorn. Yes, yes. Now it's very. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it. That's the skin expanding. Pretty much satisfying sound. This is where we look to see the colour and okay, we're ready to go. It's very hot. So what you can do now is you can open this. Like this, yeah? Yeah, any of that metal is hot, so you just have to hold this here and open it up like this. Okay. Yeah. Go. Can I do it? Yep, please. Yay. Well done. It's like a popcorn, still popping. And you've just roasted your first coffee. Yeah. So you can see the coffee looks nice and um, smooth. It's not too dark. It's still actually, you can hear some of it's still cracking. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And how long it will take to cool it down? It takes about three minutes. So what we do now is we cool this coffee down, then we rest it in the bins for 24 hours and then we'll move over to the packaging. The, the procedure, it's uh, you're removing the gas uh, from the... Uh, yeah, the coffee um, degasses just degasses. for 24 hours. We like to degas the coffee. And then we know the coffee should be used approximately between day five um, for the brewing, for your single origins that you're doing. Yeah, it's really good if it's around a week old and we know that we can consistently keep it fresh, but we degas it for 24 hours. Ready? Yep. Just gonna check to see if it's nice and cool. Yep. Now it's time to, to pack. 
Well, now we're going to rest. We'll rest it for ah, 24 hours, yeah, but then yeah. we would pack it. Yeah. So do we have something to pack? Yes, we've got something for you to pack. Okay, let's go. <laughs> now we've got the coffee. This is some of your blend here uh -huh. that we've got ready. It's already been mixed over here. It's been rested, and now Lasana is going to pack it for us. We're ready to go. Okay. Yep. Secret password. I have a question. How many packs do you do in your day? One day for 1,000. 1,000? Yes. That's a lot. Okay, so you've seen the whole process. You now have a kilo of Lito blend ready for your customers. Thank you. You're welcome.